There's a famous quote that I've referenced in a lot of my videos, and it's, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And in today's video, we're going to be standing on the shoulders of a giant. And the giant is called Groove Life. This is an e-commerce brand that is absolutely unbelievable out of Tennessee, United States. And they're estimated to be doing 100 to $500 million dollars while only being founded eight years ago. That's extremely impressive, especially in this category of products that they're in, which is basically active lifestyle products. Let me show you real quick. I actually wanna begin this video, however, by looking at their ads. I wanna give you the most value right up front, because if you don't know, Meta Ads, which is the main way that this brand is generating a ton of revenue, is one of the most powerful business building or business growing tools of the modern 21st century. A lot of people still neglect them. For me, I have not. In fact, I have a whole entire business where we run meta ads for brands and businesses to help them grow. So I know firsthand the power of it. And I know as well that one of the main keys to generating extremely profitable results with meta ads is by testing a lot of different creatives, which is exactly what this brand is doing. So let's just go through some of them. Now, they have these comparison ads. These are really good. They have some actual testimonials heel, heel, here. So as you see, this one says, we love unhappy customers. My only unhappiness is that it took you until I was eight Okay, I can't even see this that well. Let me see. My only unhappiness is that it took you until I was 81 years old to invent and manufacture this belt. That is such a funny marketing tactic right here. I'm sure they're using this as a retargeting ad. So again, some simple value, some simple practical thing that you can take away from this video. You can show ads to people that have already engaged with your business and you can always keep a campaign in active that is actively doing this right so let's say for example they have 300,000 likes on facebook that's another thing to note in this category of product facebook seems to be the king in terms of where your customers are you could create an audience of all of these people that have liked this page and show them specific ads and only show those people those specific ads like this one for example really really good they're actually huge on these stackable rings which is kind of interesting and of course these wallets. So the reason why I wanted to share this brand mainly is because I actually know a lot about these wallets. I've seen these for a very long time. There's a lot of really awesome e-commerce brands that sell similar wallets like Ridge Wallet, Extra Wallets, and they all sell this similar kind of product. So this is a good example why competition isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it can actually be a sign of demand. But here's what I think is really cool. What I think is really cool is that they are continuing to drop other types of products. So this is a great example on how you could create a whole general niche sort of marketplace off of something like this, right? Something like this wallet. So products like this are unbelievable. I think they're super cool. Obviously, as a man, I find these really cool. Maybe you don't and you're a man. I guess you don't have to be a man to find these cool, but I find these pretty cool. And I'm sure that their manufacturing process is not too complex. Probably something to do with Alibaba. And by the way, these case studies can be incredibly helpful if you're a business owner. But one of the things that I get a lot of complaints about on my channel is that my thumbnails tend to be pretty similar and it can be hard to know like in which video I talked about a specific thing. So what we've done at my company, Kemi Lab, my research company, is we've compiled a list of all of the videos that I've done on different case studies and we've made it nice and organized by industry, by topic, by trend line even, and even by monthly traffic. So very very valuable resource here and all you got to do to get this resource is join our newsletter so we actually have an e-commerce and business newsletter it's not super big yet like a lot of people don't know about it and it's probably because i haven't really advertised it too much so you get this as a free gift if you join and you can find the link to that in the description pretty cool resource but ultimately that's not what this is about I just wanted to mention that real quick. Their landing pages here though are actually really, really unique. I don't think this is a Shopify store, but I do think Shopify is the best way to actually build your business, especially if you're just a beginner. 
So that's another thing. If you enjoy these videos, the best way that you can support me is by using the Shopify link in the description. And the great thing about that link is that it makes the Shopify plan only a dollar a month for three months. Regularly, that would be over a hundred dollars spent. But using that link, you only spend three dollars for three months. So you have three months to really kickstart your business without actually having to spend basically any money. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the simple approach of having your business, your Shopify store or your e-commerce site and then meta ads and just trying to maximize growth through just those two avenues before doing anything else. Um, or you could start backwards, right? Maybe you start with only organic marketing and then you move into paid media to really blow it out of the water. But I will say another little golden nugget for you guys, having a $119 average order value in a product like this probably cost I'm guessing $15 to make um, at scale, probably lower. They have huge net margins on this so they can really afford to spend money on ads. So if you can try to find a product or an idea or a bundle of products that you can have a big margin on so that you can use that product to run ads to. And that's the thing about running ads that's so incredible is that it also just grows your brand awareness as a whole. So even if people go to your site and don't buy this specific product, they may buy another product, especially if you're retargeting them. And let's say you're building a community on Instagram or Facebook. They may also like your Facebook page and your Instagram page. So you start to build a snowball effect. And I think, you know, once you start making profits, it's actually a good idea to reinvest those profits into more ads to keep growing. That's not the only business approach out there. Obviously, there's businesses that focus entirely on their products. And that's also good. But like I mentioned at the beginning, I believe meta ads are one of the most revolutionary and efficient ways to grow your business in the 21st century. Uh, and I think, you know, let's say if Steve Jobs was alive right now, he would be going hard on meta ads <laughs> and maybe he would hire the Kemi agency to do that. Who knows? Probably not. But I like to think he probably would have. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check out some of the links in the description. We have some incredible resources for you. But that's it. Now get out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.